Trump is back in Bedminster after getting officially booked in an Atlanta jail. Fox 5's Robert Moses joins us this morning with the details. Good morning, Robert. Tashani, good morning to you. As part of that booking, former President Donald Trump had his mugshot taken, which he told Fox News Digital in an exclusive interview was, quote, not a comfortable feeling, especially when you've done nothing wrong. We witnessed another historic day and a long line of them. The visual was expected, but still no less jarring to see. The stern mugshot of the 45th President of the United States, inmate number P0113580 is one Donald John Trump. What has taken place here is a travesty of justice. Cameras trailed the former president for every step of his journey yesterday, from his departure from Bedminster to Newark Airport, to takeoff, to landing at Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport, to his arrival at the Fulton County Jail last night just after 7.30. He only spent about 20 minutes at the troubled facility. After he was released on a $200,000 bond, his motorcade returned to the airport where he spoke to reporters. And we have every right, every single right, to challenge an election that we think is dishonest. He quickly put his newly acquired mugshot to use in his first post on X, formerly known as Twitter, since the platform banned his account after the January 6th, 2021 Capitol riot. Election interference and never surrender appear under the photograph along with a link to his website where people can donate. He landed at Newark Airport late last night and arrived back at Bedminster before midnight. His return punctuated a day that saw former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows also surrender at the Fulton County Jail. And after another of the 19 defendants, Kenneth Cheesebro asked for a speedy trial. District Attorney Fonnie Willis asked a judge to set a date of October 23rd, much earlier than the March 4th, 2024 date that she originally requested for all of the defendants. The judge approved, though he said the October 23rd date does not apply to any other co-defendant. More than half of the 19 people charged in this case have already turned themselves in to the Fulton County Jail. The rest have until noon today to do so. And the Republican-led House Judiciary Committee has opened an investigation into District Attorney Willis. Chairman Jim Jordan claims the indictment against the former president is politically motivated. And Jordan wants to know if Willis communicated with the Justice Department. She has until September 7th to hand over any relevant documents. So far, she has not commented on the House Committee's inquiry.